Good morning. Uh, today is Monday, and normally this would be my day off. However, uh, over the weekend, I had some things take place that, that really have been on my mind a lot. Uh, last week, as well as this coming week. Oh, by the way, um, if you watch Handmaid's Tell, you'll notice uh, right there that uh, under his eye, eh, that's actually a painting that was given to me by my daughter, my oldest daughter, so it, it sits up there, but forget about it. Um, today we're going to hear the announcement by our president regarding uh, the next Supreme Court justice. And there's a lot of questions around that regarding how conservative they are, their position um, on Roe versus Wade, and if that would be overthrown. That, that is a, a, a big issue, uh, definitely, that, that affects millions of in, individuals throughout the United States. One of the things, though, that when it comes to pro-life that I think we need to continue to have a discussion about as a society is the importance of being pro-life throughout all of life. This last, well, Saturday, Unfortunately, I had to do a funeral for a 27-year-old young woman who chose to end her life. That's the age of my youngest daughter. It just, it really hit me that someone at the same age of my own daughter would look at something like that and look at her life and decide that she couldn't continue to go forward. I, I firmly believe that suicide, uh, depression, etc., it's a mental health issue that will bring about um, some bad choices that are permanent. I, I, and I think as a, as a minister, to be pro-life means that we are sensitive to all the different challenges that face us in life and mental health is a big one of those. And so I would encourage you today and throughout this week to, to be a little bit more attentive to those around you. Uh, just here in Arizona, for example, in 2018, a study came out, and um, I'm gonna look down and share this with you, is that the suicide rate here in Arizona is 18 people per 100,000. Um, just in 2018, we had 1,276 deaths. Now, what's amazing is that it is the eighth leading cause of death in Arizona, suicides. And so if you're truly valuing life throughout all the stages of life, we need to be, as a state, and especially as Christians, more attentive to the challenges that face us and face those in our community who are struggling with a wide variety of forms of, of mental health issues. And give them support, be attentive to them, be aware of them, and encourage through our conversations to remove the stigma that surrounds uh, mental health, especially in the area of depression. Um, I know it's kind of a bummer to begin the week uh, this way, but since I was thinking about my daughter, I would like to share with you a little reminder I have. Right now we're babysitting, and so this is Blue. Blue. That's my daughter's dog, and we are keeping her until July, uh, the end of July, and then she will board a plane and make a trip to Guam. And so she'll be she'll be happy back with her and um, we are enjoying her but we'll be happy without her so oh i always end my podcast with uh, i mean facebook live with a little bit of uh, weather went out this morning early early took the dogs out for a walk it was sprinkling but it quit so have yourself a wonderful day care for someone love someone and uh, let's value life through all of its stages from young to old take care